guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not showing my face because I had sinus surgery and my nose is a little swollen. Um, so if I sound also a little nasally, it's because I literally had my nose broken and opened and drained. So I feel like I sound a little funny, but I just wanted to show you guys my uh, agenda setup. So here I have my new agenda that I already showed. If you guys haven't seen it in the previous video, I picked up the um, Louis Vuitton agenda in the large size or the GM size. And this was what it looks like. And I already cheated because I've already shown this. And I just wanted to show you guys how I set it up. So this is what it looks like. I just want to get in, in center. I guess to show it to you guys. So this is in the larger size. Um, there is two other sizes of this one. There's a, the um, the MM and the PM, I believe. And um, I just decided to get the larger one because um, I heard that some people would have trouble with the medium one writing because of the rings, like on the left side of the page. So I just decided to get the larger one, especially because I already use an Erin Condren planner and I do have the, the larger size which is the typical A5 um, size of planners so like I said I had already um, unboxed this in a previous video I just wanted to show you guys how I have it set up I'm sitting right now in my dining room table because I'm trying to figure out like how to film um, film like this so this looks a little funny I'm filming on my iPhone so this is my planner and they do have Louis Vuitton inserts um, for this, but personally, I didn't want to spend $100 on inserts for a planner and the bottom were tear off. So I didn't really like that. Um, as I showed in my video, I did get my monogram on it. I do think it's a little crooked, but that's okay. It is what it is. And I ordered the inserts from Erin Condren. Like I said, I already, that's what I um, use right now. And so I looked it up and she has these inserts. So that's what I purchased. Um, I believe this was, I got it on sale. They were having 20% off. So I think it was $40 for everything, but include included the dividers. I will link everything down below. I know that um, I had been looking on Etsy but most of them came out like you had to buy the paper and then the divider separate. So I said, you know what? I already like Erin Condren. I like, you know, the thickness of the paper. That's already what I use. I know what layout I like. So I just decided to get what I already had. Um, so anyway, so it comes with the full um, 12 months. I really like it because um, it's just very organized. They do have different styles you could pick. This is what I thought was the prettiest that would go with this um, planner since I just got the OG, um, the OG Brown uh, monogram. And so it has all of 2023 on here. It's kind of sucks that I'm not going to get to use it till next year, but it's okay. There's only, there's only a month left and it has like, it just has really cute pages and then it has add-ons that you can get like this page says a goal is a dream with a deadline um i do a lot of like team building um things things in my work and they always say like nothing you can't do anything without a deadline that's if not you're just never going to finish it's human nature but anyway so it comes with the tabs which are really nice as you can see it has all the months here in pastel and then basically you just have your generic calendar with a little bit of a notes section and then i purchased these budget sheets separately um, again, I will link it below. It, I think they were like $8 or $10 for a pack. It comes with a bunch. I'm just going to add one budget sheet to each month. I do budget, but I have it in, um, in like an Excel spreadsheet. But I figured this might be useful for not my... This is basically going to be, I think, for like my extras. Not so much like my fixed things that I need to pay, like my mortgage, my car payments, insurances, but more like, you know, extra stuff to kind of budget. And it did come with a bunch of different colors, so I'm just matching the month 
to the color of this so I added that in the beginning of the month and then it has this page for just I guess like birthdays or anything you want to put on there if you hear clicking um my husband's playing xbox in the background so so as you can see I picked the layout to be horizontal they do have other options where it's up and down but I just feel like that's personally too little of a space uh, for me to you know write down I like I like this layout which is also really cool about Erin Condren that you can pick you know whatever type of layout you're looking for so it's very um personalized to you know to what you like this does hold a lot it is a very you know it's a very good um thickness and then I just love it I just think it's so cute I'm really excited to use it I love I know this is ridiculous but I love that it has a little um thing for your pen my husband has a desk agenda and I was considering getting this or the desk agenda because the price difference is you know kind of big and it's and it's essentially the same size it just doesn't have this clip or to hold the pen so I'm glad I went with this um, and yeah, so this just has, you know, I have the whole year on here up to December. Um, so yeah, obviously the whole year. It does come with a tab of notes. So I always use these. And then really cute, it always comes with um, stickers. So I know that's like funny because I'm like almost 30, but stickers just make me happy. So it comes with two sheets of stickers. And they, like I said, they do have a bunch of add-ons you can do. This is just personally what the type of agenda that I like. I know there's like a bajillion companies and Etsy and, and all that, but personally, I really like Erin Condren, so I just stuck with what I liked, and I think it's reasonably priced. And so these are all the other budget sheets, um, but the pack came with like 80, so obviously, you know, I just put, I just put a few in here. Um, so for the rest of the month, I'll add those on. And then on the back here, it does have a slot, which I think is nice because I can put like a small notepad in here, um, just for extra paper. And then here on this side, I didn't show, but it does have a little card slot here. I have the little, I always try to keep them inside of the bag. And then it does have here where you can put like receipts or just like anything you want. But this is just so nicely made. This is such um, an OG like product of Louis. This is my pen, super cute. I bought these when I got married um, last year. I, I bought these and I put it in like the, I made little baskets for the flower girls, but I bought these on Amazon and it, I had a bunch left over. So I was like, oh, well, I think that will look really cute in there. So. Anyway, I hope you guys like my little setup. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, another option. Just very simple. Um, I'm not like, like I do use my planner every day, but I'm not one of those people, I mean, I would love to be, that does like the little dots in the handwriting, like no, but I do like to write down everything I need to do um, for work, like doctor's appointments, like everything, like I write it down. My Erin Condren planner goes with me everywhere. So I'm just really happy to have a little bit more of an elevated agenda. And this is something that I will literally use for the rest of my life. I'm already considering getting the small size um, just to like keep in my purse um, for days that I don't wanna carry this you know, large one, cause this will fit in my work bag, but just for the, um, for the daily when I don't have, when I don't use my work bag, cause I have like my purse and then I have my work tote. So I, I kind of want the small one just for, I don't know, but I feel like that's kind of ridiculous, right? Like why do I need to? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.